I'm standing here in front of my new BMW R1200 GS with a water-cooled engine. I had the, the chance to ride it for some thousand kilometers in Madagascar and I can talk a little bit about my experience, my riding experience, my experience with Touratech accessories that we have developed the last few months in Germany. First of all, I would like to introduce the pannier system. It's with uh, 131 and 138 liter Sega Pro pannier. For me, I like the smaller versions because I don't like to take a lot of parts with me. You know, a filled up pannier with 45 liter is more weight than a smaller one. For the new bike, we also developed new crash bars for the new engine, including some aluminum cylinder protection. And we have a new skid plate for the engine in the bottom of the bike that's including the plastic or um, fiberglass reinforced plastic skid rails that can be removed afterwards. For the new water-cooled engine, it's, I think it's necessary to protect the radiators and we have for the left and the right hand radiator separate aluminum radiator protections. For the headlight we have a new headlight protection that protects the new LED front lights and I think it's the first bike ever with light emitting diet lights. The high beam, the low beam, um, the day driving light and we also made some fog lights in LED technology. For the new 1200 GS we developed a new brake lever that's adjustable for riding standing up or sitting. You can adjust it to your preferences and to your boot size. Also specially adapted are the hand guards here including some spoilers that give good protection against, against weather, against falling of the bike. Yeah, and these are the main essentials that we have already in stock when the bike will come to the, uh, to the dealer. And we are working on a lot of other accessories that will be shown in the near future. But for the moment, I think on our travel, that's been the parts that you really need on long distance traveling on discovering the world on this new bike and I'm sure after some thousand kilometers here in Africa that's the bike I want to use for the next years. After some thousand kilometers here in Madagascar I really feel good with the new water-cooled uh, R1200 GS. It's from the feeling, from the riding experience it's a lot lighter even if it's the same weight but it feels a lot lighter than the older version. Yeah, the main difference is the more powerful water-cooled engine and you know the sound is a, a lot different. The, yeah, it's more the sound of a KTM than an old boxer engine and it feels a little more aggressive the engine but it's always controllable. It's no problem to handle the bike with 125 horsepower even in difficult off-road sections. The new suspension of the bike, I think that's the main advantage. It's semi-active, means that the shock absorber can react on the situation while you are riding. It can adjust can be adjusted automatically and that makes the handling so much more reliable for the rider. The new 1200 GS has the possibility to select riding modes between road, rain, dynamic, off-road and enduro pro. In these cases all settings are memorized means that the ABS on the rear wheel is switched off and it will stay switched off. You have to think about, you have a 
a little switch under the seat that you really know what you are doing. But then the bike is adjusted to your riding conditions, what you are doing. I think with the exception of the small fuel tank, it's really a good adventure bike. It has all the genes from the previous GS models, plus the new engine, plus the new suspension, and that makes it the number one adventure riding bike.